Hey coach, uh, so glad you found us. Um, hopefully your hands up just like this and you want to learn something and this video will hopefully help you do that. Go over and subscribe so you don't miss anything moving forward. I'm trying to get to 100,000. Let's hope I'll be 90 by the time that happens. But go over and subscribe, that would surely help. Also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Down in the show notes, you'll be able to find all about it. Let me help you win more games win some state championships, have more fun in less time, 30 plus years of coaching. Let me help you do that. Let's head off to the video. All right. Welcome to high school hoops. Today, we're going to talk about closeouts, but before we do that, right, we're going to talk about closeouts. Yeah, you're right? good. Yeah. Keep yeah. going. You're good. Um, before we do that, big shout out to our sponsors. First of all, Dr. Dish, the number one shoe machine in the market. My team needs it. My team needs like six of them. One for each basket. That's how many we need. The way we're shooting the ball right now. But anyway, hopefully that changes. Uh, uh, mention us, and we'll, they'll give you um, they'll give you four hundred fifty bucks off. So that's a great, great deal. Um, also, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. One stop shop for basketball coaches. I don't know if we have any closeout drills in there, but I I do close. I I have to put some in there. I have a bunch. Um, but anyway, uh, one-stop shop, everything you need to become a better basketball coach. We expect the players to work on their craft. You should work on your craft. I'm just telling you. And that, trust me, I've experienced it all. Anybody that spends 36 hours on a bus to Florida and back unexpectedly knows what it's all about. So anyway. oh, I thought you flew. You guys took a bus. Oh, you didn't hear about that? Oh, I'll have to no. tell you the whole story off the air. But uh, the bus, we were flying southwest. It got canceled. So we found a bus to drive us down. We played, and then we drove a bus back. I'll tell you, though, yeah. Because we're, we're, I'm still recovering from that a little bit. May, okay. Yeah. Wow. That, might, that might explain a little bit about my team, maybe. There maybe. you go. <laughs> um, all right, so what's today's topic, Coach? Uh, how to coach effective – how to teach and coach effective closeouts. What's your feeling on this? Uh, I think number one is – really getting kids um, to really be moving on the flight of basketball. I think that's number one. Understanding that defense is not, there's never a time in defense where you're ever really truly standing still. Um, I think that is huge. The, the, the amount of time of reaction, especially as you get to the highest level of high school varsity, that, that, that is a game changer. If you cannot be moving on the flight of the ball, that, that changes everything. And, you know, it's not, it's the reaction point of it. You know, the head on a swivel and the ability to move and jump on the flight of the ball all the time. Do you, I, I really do. That. Do you have a theory about how to close out? Because I know there's lots and, of different theories out there about what and how to. Are you talking with which hand? Well, I mean, the ultimate theory would be to close out with your, is it the left hand? Right? Because you want to force players to go left. If you're closing out that direction, correct? Right? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I, I think there's a lot of people that, you know, um, a lot of people don't believe in closing out. They believe in got, kind of getting into space, into, um, you know, obviously, if you're the right handed shooter, you're closing out with the left hand, but even taking space away from them um, and just not letting I, them. I think, I think an active hand disrupts the shooter. I do. I, I think like, but again, you don't get to that point if you're not moving on the flight of the basketball. That hand never gets to the point where it feels like you're disrupting the player. Right. I think I think it, a bigger issue is sometimes getting them off the line. Okay. Just, what do you mean I, by I just that? Not gonna, I just don't want. I I don't necessarily want to close out. I want to close to a point where you can't even shoot a three. I don't want you shooting a three. I want you to shoot a two. So I want to get you off that line. I'm going to come at you and get you off the line. Oh, so coming at – instead of closing out so high is basically – Closing off that, that. Closing them it, off it, the line. Getting like them off shrinking the line. The, shrinking the space is what you're yes. saying, right? Yes. Yeah. Um. So getting into the space where that's really all they can do. But then the, then the key thing is then if you do that, then it really becomes this really thing of team defense, right? So it if does. you're going to over – if you're going to overcommit and then I am – if you're gonna, I'm not gonna say you're over committing, but you're coming and you're gonna shrink the space as hard as you can. That means right. everybody else needs to be moving on the fly of the ball to help support that 
because I could I totally get it because the mid range is a dying a dying dying thing. So that makes complete sense if you could get your guys, and that's interesting that you think about or gals that, I, or gals or gals. Yep. Um, that's funny that you say that. Not funny, but that makes a lot of sense because that's that, what I'm that, thinking with my. So right. we, we talked before we came on the air with my guys and closeouts. It's like, well, maybe we're not closing out. Maybe we're closing off or closing on the line you know, closing on. So we're closing on that line and we're getting them off the line. Close on, close on, close on that line. So they don't have a choice. You're in their space. They can't shoot it. They got to go or they got to pass. Are you saying like the, like to almost like a no three mentality, right? Yes. No threes. I don't care. They just don't shoot threes. I would say now, that that meant that mentality now totally relates to where basketball is going and has gone. So I don't think that's crazy to think that way. Um, right. you know, I was, you know, I, I try to teach like younger ages and I'm not here to talk about younger age. I teach my fourth graders to just close out with two hands because then they have better balance at younger ages. Right. And then, you know, I, to make it easier than try to do right or left, you know, cause then I think they overcommit to one side, but if they come right. out with a high hand, they can just crash this way. Right. I don't think that's acceptable at the high school level. They got to be either closing out at one hand or, or closing out, you know, to, to, to shrink that space. Well, I think one of the things, I think one of the things too is like, um, like I, my next three opponents, which we talked about before too, run dribble drive. So they're not, they don't want to shoot as many threes. They don't, they can, they will, but they, that's not as big a deal for them. They want to get to the rack. So all of a sudden now I got to shrink the court and, you know, maybe close out on those teams, but other teams I need to close off or on the line. So I think there's a, you know what I'm saying? So are you saying that that like sometimes closing out might be a little bit different based on who you're playing? I think so. I think so. But don't you think that that is a something I don't really have never thought about it and, and and like how important your closeout is can reflect on what kind of, kind of team you're playing. Right. You know, you, maybe you don't want to close out as crazy because you don't want them to. I want get, to close get, out, but I don't want to close out to the point where they go around me. But maybe right. there's teams like the one we played last night that you saw that we wanted to close off the line. So they did put it on the floor and we wanted them shooting twos. Um, so I think there's a mentality there, you know, maybe with our schedule. My we- theory though, is I think closeouts are something at the high school level that should be taught two V two in isolation. I think they're very vital to the game. We could talk about whether the closeout, um, really uh, uh, hard to get them off the line to close out just so we have control. Either way, you still have to be able to move on the flight of the ball, be in an athletic position. And I think it's something that no matter where, if you're playing zone or offense, I mean, zone or man to man, effective clo- closeouts is something that you should be trying to do and practice every day or every other day. I really think it's that important because of. If you don't close out properly, it really breaks down your defense. It really does. Right. I agree. I agree. Um, you know, how I, you I, teach it and wh- how you want to teach it. I don't mean to interrupt you. I think there's it's more than on one how, way to teach it is what I'm saying. Right. Too. But um, it's how you, it's how you, what you put into it. Right. So you could say, I want you to close out, but are there's like, you know, I was just having a conversation with another coach about all oh, the, the team that he's helping out doesn't run really good man-to-man defense. Well, they don't practice it in practice. Well, you can't just keep telling your kids that they're going to run really good man-to-man defense if you don't have principles and you don't do it in practice. So I think you got to come up with some of your principles too on how you want to close out. Right. And, and I thought you were talking about my team there. Um, no, we practice. No. no, it's a, a seriously another coach. I'm not going to throw oh, that program under the nice. bus. He was being nice. He was no, being- I'm being honest, dude. That's me. Being super honest. I'll even I'll even tell you the truth after the podcast because I'm not throwing this other this other coach okay. under the bus. I believe you. I believe you. All right. Anything <laughs> else with that coach? No, all is good. All right. Till next week. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Second all, go check teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners and stuff in your gym and become a nationally ranked coach, win more games in less time. Teachhoops.com is a community that will allow you to do that. Go over and check it out and go check the next video out. Bye.